A young man assists an old lady crossing the street. If his purpose is to make sure na safe ang matandang babae, that is honorable. However, if the same young man was assisting an elderly lady in crossing the street para nakawin ang wallet nito, we would consider his motivation to be despicable. Mahalaga ang ating mga motibo sapagkat ang Diyos ay higit na nagmamalasakit sa kung sino tayo. Natutukoy ng ating mga motibo kung ano ang ginagawa natin. Kung sino tayo and what kind of person we are becoming. Ang bawat tao sa bawat henerasyon from the beginning of time has experienced having their motives challenged. Sa 1 Samuel verse 18, we read na nagselo si King Saul kay David, ang best friend ng kanyang anak na si Jonathan. Sanay na si Saul to get all the attention from the people. That's why the growing popularity of David became a problem for him. Nagsimula siyang magbalak na mga paraan para mapatay niya si David. Ang isa sa mga paraang ito ay ang pag-aalok kay David ng privilege to marry one of his daughters kung mapatunayan nito na karapat dapat siya. Naisip ni King Saul na baka mapatay ng Philistine si David which in turn will make him the most popular figure again. Pero alam ng Diyos na ang tunay na motibo ng puso ni Saul ay upang saktan si David. King Saul did not succeed in his evil plan because God protected David. Speaking of David, he was known as the man after God's own heart. Maingat siya sa motibo ng puso niya. Sa awit chapter 26 verse 2, sinabi niya, Yahweh, ako'y siya sa atin mo at subukin. Hatulan mo ang iniisip at ang aking hangarin. One of the best ways to keep our motive pure is this. Ask the Lord na ipakita sa atin ang totoong dahilan kung bakit natin ginagawa ang isang bagay. Because if we sift through our motives before we act, we can honor Jesus in what we do and why we do it. Let's pray. Lord, help me to check my motives. Help me to know why I do the things I do. It is my desire to only please and honor you. And so, I pray that the motives of my heart will only seek to glorify your name. Check my motives, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. For the application, reflect and answer these questions. Number one, how can you know if your motivations are more like souls, which are selfish and hurtful, or sincere and honorable like David's? Number two, why is it critical to examine your motives before making an online comment or responding to a person? Ang akala ng tao ay tama ang kanyang kilos, ngunit sa tunay niyang layon, si Yahweh ang nakatatalos. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 2. This is Peter Cairo saying, Don't give up, because with God, all things are possible.